Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to the continuing adventures of Octowitch the Octopode Wizard. I'm not going to do a full recap, just take a quick look at the stats page, and a quick look at the inventory page. Okay, and now we'll get back to it. I considered switching to Ice Magic for the moment, since I have two enhancers already that I could start working with. But in the end, I've already begun training fire, and I already know where to get a fire book, so we're going to the store. And there's the extra Blink Frog. Remember how I said Blink Frogs don't travel alone? There's usually four of them. Well, I killed one. There's two. There's either three or four. It's hard to tell because, well, they're blinking a lot. But there's three. Okay, get me back to the fireworks. Presumably there was a four either dead or just split up from the group. Um, I'm gonna buy the Book of Flames. There's no point saving money for what may never materialize. And there's every point in having dangerous spells once I'm in the lair. I'm in the lair now. Um, so yeah. Hell, I'm torn between picking up Sticky Flame or Throw Flame. But I think Sticky Flame is probably the better option. Uh, it gives me certain utility that I wouldn't otherwise have. Um, I'm going to drop all my books right here. Uh, anything else stand out that I really need to pick up right away? Nope. Okay. Good, good, good. Down we go. Ow. You know what? Ow. Ow. <laughs> At least he disarmed it. There's four, and apparently there was more than four, so... Gooey for them, I guess. I'm happy to correct the math error by doing a minus one and a minus two. <laughs> okay, down they go. Oh, come on. Why do you guys have to do this to me? Okay, here's the plan. Uh, we're going to use Mephitic Cloud to thin out how many can actually approach me at once. And then we're going to use Sticky Flame to kill them. Because four mana plus an, a yak on fire is a good combination. Yeah, there was way more than the four, the requisite minimum four pack. I'm going to get two more yaks killed by this method. And maybe one more after that, depending on if I get the mana refund soon or not. And then we're going to pull one yak upstairs with me, and that's about as optimal as I could have hoped for. We're just going to light him on fire straight and then let him chase me a bit. Okay, good. Now remember, all three stairs are clustered, so there's no way to minimize my risk. I just gotta go for it. Okay, let you on fire, and you die as well. Awesome. Uh huh. So I actually have been saving these scrolls of enchant armor out of instinct more than anything else. I forgot something very important. When you're playing an octopode, there's really never a good reason to save your Scrolls of Enchant armor, because you only wear two pieces of armor. A shield and a hat. And odds are good you're going to have way more than enough uh, scrolls for, all of, for that times ten. So, dropping that, I'm going to read all of my Scrolls of Enchant weapon on this falchion, because odds are good I'm going to be using this falchion until I stop using armed weaponry. I'm already getting to that point anyway. Uh-huh, that is a very reasonable um, ring, which I'd be happy to put on the moment I'm not in active combat. Let's start lighting things on fire. I don't want to use I for my fire letter because I kind of use that for other letters. I'm going to set it to T. R is usually my fireball slash freezing cloud letter. I is usually my poison cloud letter. Again, these are not anything that I'm saying you should do X or you should do Y, but it's important that whatever you use consistently, you use a correct letter for, so that you it reduces the number of instinctive mistakes you make. Instead, it sets you to instinctively getting things right. I guess you could shuffle it every time and just get used to trying new things, but then that just slows down your play, and well, that sucks. Um, okay. New ring. Uh, let's put on the dexterity ring now. Let's get that snake out of LOS and let's 
Check my new ring. Cursed ring of hunger. Definitely not a happy ring. And uh, let's know exactly how many are in the dig ring. Uh, dig wand. I don't need two dig wands really. Um, the moment carrying capacity becomes a problem, I'm probably going to get rid of the second dig wand because it's unnecessary. I am poison resistant, so I'm no longer worried about being in melee with a snake. An ordinary snake, obviously a powerful snake would be problematic. It's so nice having enough ring slots that using up a ring slot on resist poison isn't like crippling. I wonder how many times I said like in that sentence. Alright, continuing my search. Let's do one of these. And one of these. Right. Oh, I have fireball too. I should set that to a good number. And I should get to work lowering spell hunger a little bit too. But nah, as much as I want to lower spell hunger, I can't pretend it's a priority, especially not in the lair where food is plentiful in the form of clean chunks to eat. Are they all confused, or do they just not know where I am? Oh, they just didn't know where I was. They do now. Uh, let's do one of these. And, uh... Let's just fireball the plant, I guess. Okay. Let's back off. Come on. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Right now, Fireball is not mana efficient for me to use. Uh, certainly, it's debatable whether or not it's mana efficient for me to use on multi-targets. It is. There's no debate. It's not mana efficient to use against single targets. And without a Sif Muna style channeling ability uh, to make use of the extra food I'm getting, it's not really sustainable. So I've got to be a bit more judicious with my delicious uh, Fireballing. Okay, let's get that up again. Burn you to death. What's next? Okay. But so far, decent progress. I'm uh, definitely glad I punked down the change for, for these fire spells. I mean, you'll notice I've already made quite a large amount of use of the uh, thingy, my bob. The fire sticky flames, fi fire hands spell, whatever it's called. Burning touch. Yes! <laughs> okay, so staff of channeling means I can channel mana. That's an awesome find for me in the dungeon. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to one of my primary uh, keys now. Um, for weapons, remember I use WW and WE to uh, wield stuff. Also, I'm gonna begin training evocations. Not hardcore training, just light training. I want to get evocations up to 6 to 8 range. Staff of Channeling uses a significantly high amount of food to give you a fairly low amount of mana. I think it's something like 1d3 mana or so. So, you know, anywhere from 1 to 3 mana. Um, and it's not guaranteed to work every time. So it's a very inefficient means of channeling compared to Sith Muna even at the lowest level of training. That said, the higher your evocations goes, the more likely you are to successfully attempt to channel. At max level evocations, I think it's either 95% or 100% success. On the flip side, um, it beats not having any means of channeling, and this means I can, as long as I'm holding food... Oh yeah, that's the other thing. The amount of food it costs to channel man is much more than the amount of food it costs to stand still and get it back. But this means that in a hot spot, I can get mana more efficiently. Let's see if I can't mephate cloud him from range. Good. So I'll be honest, I have, in my recollection, I don't think I've ever run a character that used poison darts, or not poison darts, poison needles fired from a blowpipe. Certainly not more than for a floor or two. This character is still using them. And what I've noticed is that there have been tons and tons of these poison needles littered throughout the dungeon. Obviously there are other kinds of needles too, including needles of sickness and, and even curari. And despite having such low training, I've had a fairly good success hitting with them. So 
so I'm starting to th reconsider. Maybe they're more valuable than I, I I've been giving them credit for. You know, since I haven't been giving them credit, period. And they obviously have some use. Um, I'm gonna have to think about using them a bit more in future runs. See, there I channeled back a little bit because I'm literally holding a set of chunks that will probably rot before I use them otherwise. There are three failed attempts to channel in a row. At low evocations, there's no guarantee it ever succeeds. Um, but once I get my evocations up a little bit, you know, it'll be more likely. And the other, you know, if it was just the Staff of Channeling bonus, I might even put off training evocations for a while. But evocations training is nice because there's a ton of evocable items that are all going to get a little bit of benefit from me having a few points in it. So... It's not like the skills are going to go to waste. Oh, beautiful fireball. Let's channel back some mana because I'm literally staring at the bodies of the axe to eat. Okay, and now, new book. Unsurprisingly, the first gift is usually a dud. You have to get to two gifts before you start getting a decent average. The next gift will be the Book of Power, and that's going to be much, much nicer. You see all these, uh... Oh, these scrolls of enchant armor? Yeah. Like I said, there's generally no good reason to hold on to them as an octopode. Just use them when you find them, and you'll find more. Certainly more than you'll ever use. Also, if you're uh, interested in getting a lot of scrolls of enchant armor, definitely play an octopode. They get tons because they can't use them in Krog knows. That's just me being cynical. Okay, that's good. I'm carrying food, so let's go ahead and animate dead real quick. Just so I have some bodyguards in case. I haven't, you know, I, I, it took all the energy to learn that spell, and I haven't even used it, like, once. Truthfully, I don't really need it, but it's better to have and not need, need and not have, or whatever that phrase is. Uh, torching the rats is so satisfying. My cure to the plague. Okay, once conjuration hits like 15, I'm probably gonna turn it off for a while. Let's go ahead and channel up. New potion, potion of confusion. That was unfortunate. Let's go ahead and burn the bush, octopus style, while squeezing it. Burn the bush and squeeze it. Okay. Cool. Quick check, have I left any armor behind that I needed? No. Have I left any shields behind? Just the one that I'm not going to use. Have I left any jewelry behind? Nothing I want. Okay. Okay! Fun, happy, happy, fun times. I am poison resistant, which means this is not going to end well for them. There's very little they can do. What I need to do is make sure that they have no way out either, so I'm going to try and keep a fire going next to me. Poison resistance is only 90% effective, so it is possible to be poisoned through it, even with ordinary poison spells. Um, but again, I have my bodyguards behind me, so worst case scenario, I trade places with one of those guys. This is really not that dangerous a setting. Uh, it's a shame I can't throw in a fire, but I can at least penetrate a bit deeper with my mephitic cloud. Okay, I just realized I'm not even wielding a decent weapon. Start fireballing my way in now. Fire in the hole! Not sure why I'm calling that out about your hole, but yeah. Okay, uh, job's done. Poison has worn off. Got a bunch of food, and because I'm wearing as much strength rings as I am, I can actually carry it all. That's gonna change soon enough. Totally a blinking time for me. Die. 
self mephitic Okay, out of mana and out of food. That's unfortunate. Um, I would like to see him dead, so let's just get a couple stacks of poison on him and... Oh, there we go. He's dead and he left food. Which I will now eat happily. Before going upstairs to recover. And making sure that I keep one of them as an allied body, just so that I'm not so alone. No, but I don't want to stand here eating, so let's do that. Okay, now we'll deal with you. It's like poison, except it's burning. Okay, you go down. I don't know where, who's where. Uh, see, that irritates me. How did he go from here to here without getting damaged here? Go ahead and kill him. You better leave a corpse. You're going to be my new buddy. Uh, wander. Okay. Follow me then. This is not going to work. Oh, beautiful. My ally held them in just the right position for me to get off a nice cloud. Fortunately, I'm really looking to get off a fireball, too. There we go. Yeah, I don't care if it hits my ally. He's only an ally because his body was closest. Go handle the other war dog, wouldn't you? I got bigger fish to fry. And by fish, I mean dogs. Don't ask, it's complicated. Go and work on the hippogriff, I'll finish this dog. Okay, food acquired. Uh, because I'm nauseated, I'm not going to risk channeling. Instead, I'll just animate dead with a bunch of them. And yeah, this is as good a place to hide as any. Let's just beat the first thing that comes my way. Getting the Staff of Conjuration was my first bit of really good luck this game. I've had some decent luck uh, here and there, but apart from like the one, oh my god, I could have died, but instead I survived moment, this is about the best thing that's happened. I guess the Ring of Strength was a nice find too. There was absolutely no reason that had to happen. Notice how little regard I have for my allies' safety. They're only here to tank for me. That's it. I don't really care about them. I'm definitely not a summoner, in even in the slightest. Uh, let's drop all this useless food I'm carrying and read a scroll. Okay, that scroll of noise sure carried far. I heard screeches and hisses and all manner of unseemly animal shit. This is an animal planet, so we're under no obligation to keep them alive. Uh, I'm going to continue channeling mana until I have to spend it. Komodo Dragon is dangerous enough that he deserves early, flamey death. And now my uh, health is low enough that everything is bad, so I should really just run. Um, not my health, my mana. I'm going to stay here and use my allies to tank for me for a couple turns. Beautiful. Go after the frog. I want to finish this guy. Get into burning range, hit him. And since they couldn't even handle a simple instruction, I will burn the frog as well. Stop! He's already on fire. He's not going anywhere. Okay, allies up. Continue to search the floor. I wonder what this does. Lightning, eh? 
I'll hang on to that. You never know when it will come in handy to be able to hit a target that you can't aim at. Oh, crap. That guy can take a lot of punishment. Stop. There we go. Okay. Just walked onto a trap, didn't I? Yes, I did. I wonder what this one does. Uh, I meant this one. Cold, eh? Intriguing. And you know what else works? Hot. I actually should have rezzed that Hydra. I'm not sure why I didn't. In fact, if its corpse is still available, it's not a bad idea to go for it. There we go. Sick shot. Okay, this floor is done. Next floor. Yeah, so buying this uh, fire book, as much as it, it, it feels like a waste of money, I, I obviously was not. Um, it's only a matter of time before I eventually find other fire books, but I was honestly expecting to find it literally right away as if to taunt me, me and instead it, it's been instrumental in taking down tons and tons of enemies, so this actually worked out pretty well. I am near starving, so I'm going to have to burn some food, but as you can see, I haven't exactly been digging very deep into my consumables, so I've got a lot of food. Um, I now have enough scrolls of recharging, I think I have two or three, that I'm going to spend one of them just to enhance... Wait, I only have one. That's weird, what did I spend the other one on? I guess I must have test read it on Disintegration or something and just forgotten about it. I don't know. Okay, well, never mind then. I was going to put it on Haste, but as you guys have probably witnessed from my plank, I generally don't use Haste that much. It's rare to find a situation where it's useful enough that I, I want it, and um, those are usually emergencies where one or two casts is plenty. Especially now that I'm training Evocation, so it'll last even longer channel back some mana and finish the job that I started. And now that I have all these corpses, I have even more means of food, so burn you. Burn you something fierce. Uh-huh. Looks like this floor is almost done. Um, ooh, is that a rod? That is a rod. Let me go upstairs and check out my new rod. It is in fact a long, hefty rod. The kind of rod that makes you proud to be a man. Wait, what? Um, okay, none of these are particularly cool except maybe Abjuration, and even that will require me to switch weapons to get the rod out, so I'm gonna drop it. But I am bearing it in mind, because... The thing about rods is, in general, I haven't made that much use of them in my runs, so you may not have seen how useful they are. Basically what they boil down to is if you are if you want to be a spellcaster but don't want to learn spellcasting stuff, then find a rod and learn evocations. You will never be able to reduce spell hunger, or rod hunger, but you will have access to the equivalent of spells via a rod. Often, in fact, the exact same spell that a spellcaster would have, like in the case of Abjuration, as you saw. There are a few spells in rods that are not found in are not found in uh, standard spell banks, um, in any of the books or whatever. Uh, but for the most part, it's this, it's it's a duplicate set. Why are you having? Why are you carrying so much rotten food? Okay, that's like the fiftieth time I've walked on top of a trap and said "ow." I'm not gonna say "ow" now. Uh, it looks like there's three ups, three downs. It looked like this was just the bottom half of the level, but turns out it was not, so the more you know, right? Uh huh. It's an Oclob plant. As much as I would love to kill it, there's no reason to that I know of, and so I'm not going to invest resources and energy into trying to kill an Oclob. Oh, please give me a double shot. Yes! Pretty close to starved, so anything I could eat would be nice. 
and anything I can drop. Why am I carrying so much crap? I guess I just haven't dropped anything this whole game. Um, let's let's ditch some stuff I don't need anymore then, shall we? Envenomations, I have a duplicate copy at the top. Uh, floor of the lair. Frost is superfluous, since I have cold. Uh, disintegration, I have five of, so let's drop the one I've zapped the most, or three of, so let's drop the one I have the most of. I don't need darts, I use poison needles. Um, that should do it for now. Yeah, that was plenty. Okay, blast your ass. Let's try for a fire trap for you. Touch. Boom, you die. Ha ha. Firebomb and... Are you kidding me? How many rings of strength am I gonna find this game? I am. I currently am wearing one, two, three rings of strength. Four rings of strength. Um, and I still haven't used up all eight tentacles. I only am at six currently, or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six currently. So I'm not gonna be taking them off for a while either. This is getting kind of ridiculous, to be completely honest. Uh, I need to upgrade my strength by one eventually to hit a base of eight. I'm starting to think that might not even be relevant anymore, because I have so many. Also, since I've been training evocations, my evoke berserk rage has been getting more and more reliable. It will eventually be reliable enough that I might actually be able to use it, you know, if I ever want to die. Don't forget, as a as an octopode, I will never have any armor. So, yeah. That 3 AC you see is because one comes from an inborn mutation. Uh, or, you know, just by being an octopus, you start with one AC. And another two come from the ring I'm wearing. Alrighty, I got my next book. And this one is the game changer, if I recall correctly. This one's gonna have my first cloud spell. Possibly my first and my second. My first smite spell, I should say. Yep, poisonous cloud. Finally. Um, in order to make use of it, I'm going to have to gain some spell levels back, which means I'm going to have to forget a spell or two, or three, or more. Um, I'd be all up for... There's a bunch of good candidates for spells to forget, actually. It's ironic. That isn't usually the case. Let's go ahead and channel back some mana real quick. Okay. Let's see. I am going to need... Poison Arrow is not available, so... If it was, that would be the obvious next thing I want. Um, Isik Kundurin's Mystic Blast is going to take a backseat this game to just Fireball and eventually Poison Arrow for pure direct damage, so I'm not going to actually pick it up here. Um, yeah, so Poisonous Cloud. Six spell levels. In order to gain two back, what would I lose? Hmm... Conjure Flame and Sticky Flame are not going to be useful for the rest for the end game. Period. Like I'm going to stop caring about these spells pretty soon. I guess the most useful spell I see here right now is Call Imp, on account of the fact that I can do that via. I mean, I'm getting the same effect with my my uh, revived allies. So I'm actually going to forget that one and use that spot for Poison Cloud. God only help me when I have to make more space for the next spell. In fact, I think it might be worth my while to start really considering how I'm going to get make room and start training spellcasting more. So focus spellcasting, trickle magic, and trickle dodging, just so I have some defensive skill. Let's try and get dodging up to four or five, just because. Okay, continuing through the dungeon and blasting the shit out of everything I come across now with fire, because fire makes everything hotter. And hotter is better. Unless, you, of course, you don't like hot temperatures, in which case, don't be a fire mage. Be a fireman, who ironically has nothing to do with starting fires. And everything to do with ending them. Which I guess is similar to having something to do with fighter, fires, namely that you stop them. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to light the sheep on fire, and it's going to catch the other sheep on fire. Yeah, 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 where does it say what happened? The sticky flame hits the sheep. The sheep is lightly wounded. The sheep burns. A sheep catches fire. 
Yeah, that's awesome. Let's also light this guy on fire, and then bail. Like, between all of the sticky flames that I've dropped, and my allies to tank, everything here is gonna die. Alrighty. Let's ignore that. Do that. Yes, I'll hit my own yak zombie. No, I don't care. Okay, now I start caring, because now I'm lowish on mana. And one elephant usually means several, so... <sighs> For all the fucking times to miscast three times in a row. Stop them from killing me. I need to make more mana. Alright, you elephant asshole. Just let you on fire, since... You're you're already done being on fire? Good god, what are you made of? Fire retardant materials. Made in Asia, no doubt. Um. Okay. This is as good a spot as any. Mephitic Cloud. And hopefully they will stop pursuing me for long enough for me to eat. And channel back some mana. Because Poisonous Cloud is fairly reliable. In order for it to fail three, four times in a row like it just did, that's almost a 1 in 1,000 chance of that happening. So, I don't feel bad about my decision-making process at all. That's just unlucky. This was the more likely effect. Which, unfortunately, is still not that fantastic, seeing as to how I'm almost dead, but... You know, almost an am dead is a very, very, very big difference. I've also got to stop hitting things at melee range with this since I'm using a staff now. I, I got to get used to the fact that my staff is not going to hurt them. Okay, much better. Much better. More ox lobs for the lobbing of ox. I'm sure that's what they do. I'm sure they're very good at it. I'm also sure I don't know what an awk looks like, but that's kind of the point. Tuk tuk and awk. It's actually nice raising spellcasting is giving me side benefits like uh, more mana, and I'm starting to notice that almost right away. Oh, you know what? You can go ahead and get stuck behind the plant, and I'll go ahead and poison the entire room. How's that sound? And then I'll burn your ass, and then you can chase me again through poison. And I'll pretend I'm singed and go mix, mix, uh, mix, mix. Uh, uh, I would really be happy to get a bunch of nice spells right now. Swiftness is great. Delayed Fireball would fit this character like a glove. Um, but even without good spells, I've got a good starting set. I'm going to take off my hat and make an attempt at killing these Ocklobs because the worst they can do is injure me. They can't corrode me since I don't wear anything corrodable. And there's a fair amount of EXP locked up in these guys if I can get them. Yep. Hat's back on. So the hat is the source of two of my AC probably. The AC inherent is one. I thought I had a Ring of Protection. Maybe that was a different game I was playing and I forgot. Anyway, next floor, and uh, probably the final floor for this vid, unfortunately. But I am getting pretty close to the point that I need to be done. Um, because this is Lair 8, I don't want to auto-travel my way into trouble, so I'm kind of sort of backing up more than I normally would, just to make sure I've rooted out the entire landscape. Also, if I end up having to beat a hasty retreat, it'll pay to know the, the terrain. I could, of course, burn a single scroll of magic mapping, but... But nothing. Do I have it? I only have two. Uh, I, it would be unnecessary. I can definitely clear the floor without it, so I'm going to try to do that. And you saw what a difference magic mapping made before on that... Uh, when I got caught by the door to the lair and had to really play clever in order to survive. Oh crap, I'm near starving. Okay, we'll just settle for Mephitic and running away then. Actually, let you on fire first, so that I get a kill. 
and maybe one more kill. Now we run away. Uh, yeah, just eat something. The other nice thing about trading evocations is that it, or not evocations, uh, spell casting is that it's slowly helping with my hunger problem. <clears throat> level threes are now hungerless; they weren't before. Hungerless level four is a reasonable goal for po the end of the layer, but only if your character has like a positive aptitude for spell casting. Otherwise, you're going to put a lot of investment into it and probably going to sidelong your major uh, attack avenue spell thingies, whatever they happen to be. Or, you know, sacrifice defense altogether instead of putting a few points in into it. Oh, ow. God, I need a better single, single target damage spell. Okay, Paralysis actually hit the elephant. That was nice. Did not expect that. Um, unfortunately, this elephant horde is going to be a pain, so I'm going to have to be very careful with my approach here. I, I, I want them all very poisoned so that they're constantly draining when they chase me. If I could confuse them all, or even a bunch, to set up a good mephitic, that would help significantly. Or uh, set up a good fireball, sorry. That would help significantly. Okay, that's all of them except him, and now he's down. Eat. There's nothing to resurrect, unfortunately, so we'll just channel back as much mana as I can. I really would like to have some allies on this floor. But I gotta remember to actually, you know, create allies instead of just eating everything I see. Yay, you'll do. I mean, I know you're a useless snake, but god damn it, you're a nice useless snake. So if I had held off on paying money, this is how long it would have taken for me to find Fireball. I would probably have given up on it, probably have switched to Ice Magic, and had no opportunity to be a Fire Mage Octopus uh, who dabbles in poison as soon as he has the ability to. So far, so good. Um, this whole floor is mostly cleared. If I go through here and open the secret doors, I'll have to fight an anaconda and dire elephants. That's potentially lethal stuff. Um, and remember that unless the loot they give me is rings, it's useless to me. That said, I'm pretty sure there's a room here that just has some nice elephants that can die easily, so I'm trying to find that room. This whole area is kind of spoilerish. In fact, this was one of my complaints uh, with Crow a, long, a while ago, that if you didn't know that there were secret doors in these areas, you wouldn't stop to look for them. And players who knew that got an advantage, and that just seemed dumb to me. Interestingly enough, uh, they fixed this. And in version 12... Ah, oh, shit, you're blocking the way. I just wanted to close the door, but no. My snake has to stand there. And now I can't. Okay, well I can at least kill everything that I see here. Sick fireball. Yeah, um, so what they've done now is in version 12 there are no more secret doors. Period. All doors are visible. And to prevent you from auto-traveling into what should be a dangerous door that you stop to consider, they've invented a type of door that won't open with auto-travel. You have to specifically open it. But right now, I because I'm, I I know this, I know if I wait long enough here, there may be a door, and if not, then there will be one on the other side. Actually, let's go ahead and get some elephant allies. Let's go ahead and spread poison down this whole corridor. And then, again, sheep allies are more important than food right now. What are you doing here, idiot sheep? You all eat. You're not worth being an ally. Probably shouldn't have done that. Alright. Burn my way through. It's 
just faster than trying to melee these plants. Though Constriction, which is like a guaranteed hit against these guys, is at least, you know, something to speed up the process a little. My mana is treacherously low. Let's get a little bit more. Uh, which of these don't I want? Second Digging Wand might be... Yeah, Second Digging Wand, Second Disintegration Wand. Because it's actually my third Digging Wand, so yeah. Uh, a banana and an... I can lose. Maybe I can eat it if I so desire. Um, that's a good handful of stuff to lose. So this scroll is probably torment. Oh no, it was worse. It was holy word, so it just damaged all of my undead allies. So, so yeah, if I wait here long enough, the secret door will open. And if I open it, anacondas will come out uh, to attack me. And the anaconda is only the least of my threats. There are also dire elephants that will start patrolling the level. Which I can probably kill, but I don't want to take the the chance. So I'm going to leave now. Lair is complete as far as I'm concerned. Uh, next stop, Orcish Mines. With, between Fireball and Ice Cloud, there's no reason that the Orcish Mines should be a problem. Actually. Whoops. I typed the wrong key. Let's, at the very least, clear this entrance for next time before heading back upstairs. Give me my holy weapon. Oh my god, you went the wrong way. I mean, the right way, but wrong for me, right for you. Let's, let's just do one of these. There you go. How's that? And fire behind you, and fire in front of you, and fire in front of you, and... <sighs> I need to channel more mana, and fire behind you, and... Man, if I didn't know better, I think you weren't confused the way you managed to dodge everything that you possibly could. Well, now you get to die to me. Okay. Um, off to the Orcish Mines. Alright, this is as good a time as any to cut the vid, so I will catch you guys next time, and we'll continue down the Orcish Mines.